Hello and welcome back to the Insane Knitters YouTube video channel. This is going to be a demonstration of a flat hat. You know it's a flat hat, you might ask? Well, a lot of hats are knit in the round on a on a cable needle and they they're you know, you just knit them in a circle and then you decrease to the top and you finish them that way. A flat hat is knit on straight needles like this with just a, a large piece of fabric. And a lot of people make hats this way. Uh, it does involve some seaming, and I'll show you that. But what I'm using here is really big needles and really thick yarn. This is called Encore Mega. And on a size 15 needle, it gives you two stitches per inch. And that's just something I'm using right now, and I'll tell you why. It makes a, a quick, uh, it's a very quick knit, it's quick, quick to knit up, and it, it's very thick. And you only generally need one skein to do this. You can use two. Um, it tells you on the label uh, how many yards it is, and it's this is 64 yards on. And I'm using a smaller needle than it calls for, so I'm getting a little more yardage out of this to knit with. But that's neither here nor there. You can use any yarn you want for this. I'm just using the thick yarn and the big needles to to show you because it's easier. Um, when you want to make a flat hat. Uh, I, like I said, you, I use a thick skein of yarn to give me about two stitches per inch because it's, uh, it's a quick knit and I find it easier. Uh, but you can do this with baby yarn, you can do this with any yarn you want as long as you measure properly. And that is really the thing. You want to cast on enough stitches on your needles to make the length uh, as high as you want the hat to be. So if you need the hat to be 10 inches high, you know, so you've got a good 6 inches of coverage on your hat, then you want to cast on enough stitches because this is going to be, however however wide it is, is going to be how it sits on your head. So, and then you want to knit to however you, however long you want it to be around. Generally, the most, the average hat is, the average person's head is about 20 to 22 inches. Um, you know, the kids are obviously smaller than that, and people come in different sizes, so you just want to knit as long as you want your hat to be around, and I'll show you why. Um, what I have done here is I've, I've knit to the point to where I want to bind off, okay? I think this is about 12 inches, so it's going to make a small hat. And now I'm ready to bind off, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'll come back in a minute when I'm bound off, and I'll show you what. And we're back. Okay, I have bound off this piece of fabric to the last stitch, and I'll show you what to do now. So, we've got our last stitch here, and you want to finish that up. No, but you want to, the thing is, is we're going to seam this now. So you want to, instead of just cutting this off really close and, and binding it off that way, you want to leave a long piece, a long piece of of, of tail yarn here because we're going to use this piece to sew up uh, the hat. So you want to leave a really long tail to sew with. So, okay, I'm going to leave, let's say, that much. Okay, and then we're going to cut this. And then we're, then we're going to pull it through, okay? So there we go, that's our last stitch. And we're pulling our tail yarn through. And we're going to there we go. Now we're, we're bound off completely here, okay? There we go. Now, this is the piece of fabric that I knitted. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a yarn needle. If you don't have a yarn needle, they, they, they come in various kinds. This is a large one, so because I'm using really big yarn here. Um, this is the piece I knitted. Okay, here's the, the the cast on edge. This is where I, I started knitting, and then I knit it however long I want my hat to be. Generally, this one's about 12 inches. Um, and but you know, like I said, normally you'd knit however long to to make it for whomever you're knitting it for. Um, measuring heads is kind of weird, but you can do it. Just you know. Or you can take a, take your best guess. Like I said, the average hat, the average size is about 20 to 22 inches, depending on on the the person you're knitting for. So here's our 
our cast on edge. This is where we started knitting. This is our cast off edge where we stop knitting. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to sew the cast on edge to the cast off edge, the, the bind off and the bind on. We're going to sew those together and you're going to end up with this tube looking thing, okay? Like that. So, you want to take your really long tail that you left. You also can use another piece of yarn to do this. Um, you know, just if you want, you can use a, a different size of yarn. I prefer to use the yarn that I used to sew the hat so that way it doesn't uh, show if it gets pulled apart. Okay, so here we are. We have our yarn needle and our yarn. And we're going to sew these edges together. Now, you can see here where your yarn, where you bound off, right there. And then you can see the edge over here. So I generally, oh, and then that's another thing. See this pattern? I just, this is garter stitch. It's just all knit stitches. It's nice for hats. It's thick. It's comfortable. But you can use any pattern you want. You don't have to be, you don't have to use garter stitch. I know someone who does these in ribbing. You can do whatever pattern you want. Um, just remember that one side will be inside on the person's head and the other th side will be on the outside. So just keep that in mind with your pattern. But this is just simple garter stitch. It's, all, it's knit every row just because it works for demonstration purposes. And also it helps me line up what I'm doing here. So see there's, I'm lining up the little rows there. And now you just take your yarn needle and you pick up in between the bind off stitches. There's these little ladders, see those? Right in between each of these stitches, you can go in and pick up that little that little ladder inside, and, and that really helps you a lot um, when you're sewing. And so what we're going to do uh, is just seam all the way across. Here, I'll show you a couple of stitches how I do it. There's lots of ways to do this, but this is how I do it. And uh, so I just come over and I pick up the corner first. Uh, just to secure that, just to secure them together. Okay. So now they're 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 secured, they're sewn together. And then I come in and I pick up both sides. Sorry, I bumped the camera. Pick up both sides of this stitch and both sides of this one and pull that through. There we go, that's sewn together. This Making a flat hat does make a big seam down the side, um, and that can be uncomfortable for some people when they wear stuff, but it's just a side effect of what this pattern, you know, of, of making a flat hat, so. And then that's it. I just go back and forth. Okay, this is called kind of a whip stitch. You just go back and forth and sew it up all the way up up the sides and, and you want to make sure that you get uh, just about every stitch so that way you don't have big holes when you when the person puts this hat on so see I'm picking up both legs of this stitch both legs of that stitch and I'm just coming through just like this okay and you see how that's being seamed together there it's making this little making this little uh, line down the, down the knitting. I'll show you what to do with that in a, in a minute. So, here we go. See, that's another reason I like to use the same color of yarn, because this way it doesn't show very, very much. See? I mean, you can tell there's a seam there, but you can't really see where the yarn is. I used the same yarn. Now if I used a different color you could really see. So pick up both legs of that stitch and both legs of the next one and come come through. Okay and I will see you in a minute when I get this seamed up and then I'll show you. Okay I'm back. I've got this all seamed down the side now. Okay so now we have this tube. See this tube thing? It's a it's like a it's a tube okay and it's not a hat yet, but it will be. Okay, so I'm gonna finish up this last stitch here, just like that. And this is our little tail where we started 
to, to knit, remember? Now, this is the part where you make your hat, okay? You're going to basically stitch up one of the, one of the sides here, and that's going to close one end of the tube and kind of make a little hat shape like this, okay? Like that. So it doesn't look like a hat now, but when I get this all sewn and I pull it really tight, it'll make a little hat like that. And you, see, you know, it's, it's not the prettiest thing in the world, but it does work very well. And then you can fold this up, and and you have a hat for whomever you're making it for. This is the part where their their head goes in. There you go. You can fold that up, and there's the top of the hat. So that's how you make a flat hat. So I'll come back in just a minute when I get this top sewn and to I'll show you. To sew the top, you're going to, instead of going back and forth like we did with the, with the, with the whip stitching, you're kind of going to do the same thing, only you do it on both sides. So see, there's where I came out, so I'm going to go in here like that, and pick up that, because th this is a different edge, so you, it's going to look a little, a little different, because this is the side now instead of the bind off edge. So you're going to go, see, you came out here, and then you're going to go back on this side, and over here, like that. So you're making kind of a crisscross, one, two, three, four, instead of going back and forth like that. So you just go just like this, and I'll see you in just a second when I get this done. Okay, I've reached the last stitch now, and these, these are all stitched, and I went back and forth, back and forth, and now I'm at the last stitch, and I'm going to pull it through. And you didn't you don't want to seam this too tightly because this is what you're gonna do now. Now you're gonna pull. See, you pull that really tight like that and see how it squishes? Like that. Okay, you pull that really tight. And then what I do is I take my needle and I just kinda wedge it through again just just because. It gives that little gives it a little extra tightening. Okay? Just like that. And you can do it again if you want just to use up some of the slack on your on your needle there, or some of the extra yarn. Okay, there you go, and you know, one more time, why not? We're here. So, there you go, you pull it tight. Now, you weave in your ends, because there's an end, and then you pull it inside out, and there you go, you have a hat. There, there's a flat hat. Ta-da! You made a hat. Yay! Congrats. There's your flat hat. With your ends wove in, and there's the brim. You can roll it up, or they can just wear it straight if they want. But there it is, and that's what the top looks like. Like I said, it's not the prettiest thing in the world, but it's good. It's functional, and you can use whatever pattern you want, and knit it however you like. So there you go. Flat hat.